Hey friends, Chris Vandeviver here with Logic Pro Expert. Today I want to give you a really brief overview of a piece of software called Acoustica 7.2, which is an audio file editor from the company Acon Digital. While Logic comes with its own audio file editor, if we're being honest with ourselves, the toolkit is a little restricted. It just would be nicer to have a suite of tools as dedicated to restoration. Additionally, prior to Logic Pro 10, Apple used to ship out a piece of software dedicated for mastering purposes called WaveBurner. But since 10 was released, WaveBurner has been put out to pasture. I see Acoustica filling in some gaps for Logic users on specifically these fronts and others. So restoration, mastering, the ability to batch process multiple audio files, and even the ability to take an existing mix and pull it apart into stems that you can further process and adjust the levels of. So first, I just want to demonstrate some of the restoration features here. I have some dialogue that I recorded. Let's take a listen. And I'm testing out the software to see what it can do for different types of audio. Okay, so we obviously have this really awkward gap right here, and we also have some thumping that's occurring. So let's hone in right here and just get rid of this gap real quick. So I'm gonna use key command, command X to remove that gap. And then let's take a listen. Different types of audio, so much better. Now let's hone in on these thumps here. See what it can do. Okay, so let's change to the spectrograph view. And if we zoom in here, we can see these really, really bright spots towards the bottom. There's like one, two, three, and four. And they're all right below like 100 hertz. So I'm going to highlight these specific thumps here. I'm going to go up to Enhancement, D-click, and in the D-click module, we have an option for plosive and thump sensitivity. So I'm going to make sure to enable that particular function, and I'm going to solo the noise. Let's take a listen. Okay, not too bad. Let's hear this plugin before we commit it. See what it can do. See what it can do. See. Okay. So let's process this. So I'm going to just move this out of the way, shrink it up here, and let's process. Okay, wonderful. Let's switch back to the waveform view and zoom out here, and let's take a listen. And I'm testing out the software to see what it can do for... Okay, way better, right? Let's bring back those thumps. And I'm testing out the software to see what it can do... And get rid of them again. And I'm testing out the software to see what it can do for which is just so awesome. And beyond that, we also have tools for declipping, so we can remove any sort of distortion that has been imposed because of analog or digital clipping. We can also use declicking, so for more specific like clicks and crackles, and dehum as well for any sort of electrical problems in a studio or elsewhere. Okay, we're gonna move forward, and we're gonna focus on some dialogue that I recorded that had a lot of background noise. So let's take a listen to the noise here. Okay, let's see what Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. So this was recorded on my phone. We're going to select that section, go to Enhancement, Extract Dialog. We're going to play around with the controls here for a minute. So let's take a listen. Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. Acon Digital's Extract... And I'm just going to solo the noise again and just play around. Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. So let's hear that before and after. So I'm going to turn on the bypass here. Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. 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 And we can even fine tune the Extract Dialog feature further with this emphasis curve. Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. Acon Digital's Extract Dialog can do for me. It's pretty handy. I like it quite a bit. Okay, beyond that, let's take a look at this particular session right here. So this is a full mix that I imported. And what's really cool is, is that Acoustica was able to identify all of my markers that I placed in Logic for like the chorus and for the verse. And it's imposed them onto this WAV file. So I want to specifically look at a tool called Remix that allows us to adjust the levels of the different aspects of this mix. So it's broken up into vocals, drums, bass, or other, but you have some other formats as well. So let's just take a quick listen to this part right here. All right, now I'm going to start muting the different aspects of this mix. Cold 
this exposure. Functional elevator haunting mansion, you know how it works. Put up, might just surf this dream unrestrained. Lurch without showing it on your face first. So, what you, what you, what you need? It's almost 3 a.m. No while just completely removing something like the vocals or drums might sound a little weird in context, what I find is really helpful for remix is being able to slightly adjust the levels of these different aspects. Cold exposure, paneling some stripped down frameworks, emotional elevate to a haunting mansion, you know how it works. Hood up, might just surf this dream unrestrained, lurch without showing it on your face first. So, what you, what you, what you need, it's almost. It's pretty awesome. Now, one step further is that you can actually take a mix and pull it apart into different stems, which I've done right here. And all you do is open a brand new session, a new multi-track session, and then you go to File again and go to Import Stems from File. You select the stereo file you want to import, and then Acoustica will analyze and pull apart these different aspects based on those algorithms. So, once again, if we take a listen here... And then the crosshairs where the crotch grab toss that sophomore in a stocking cap Again, it's not the best effect to just solo or remove something, but we can apply further processing, which actually is pretty handy. So let's just go in to audio units here and I'll go look for Fab Filter, the Pro R. And take a quick listen to the drums in context. I think Acoustica fills a tremendous need for us Logic users. Again, for these different reasons, especially on the restoration end of things. And for those of us who are working in mastering, this can be especially helpful for being able to adjust the levels or add some further processing, you know, subtle amounts to an existing mix already, but not just on the whole mix, on the individual components. So I hope this was helpful for you. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver, Logic Pro Expert.